Welcome back to Waffle TV, sponsored by West Beer. My name is Ross Jennings, and this afternoon I'm with Wolfgang Weinberger, also known as the Sex Guru. And he is returning this year to Edinburgh Fringe Festival with his new show, Sex Guru. Now, Wolfgang, how's it like yeah, being back? Ross. <laughs> <laughs> how's it like being back in Edinburgh? It's good. Uh, it's it's uh, good to recognise all the places that I've been to uh, five years ago, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm a little bit outside of town this year, so I'm not in the midst of the midst of, of all of it. I did the first show yesterday, and I'm very interesting because the interest in the subject matter that my mm -hmm. show is covering never stops. So that's a good thing. And you notice clear, clear sort of cultural differences between attitudes attitudes towards sex between the Scots and the previous audiences? Yeah. Most of the shows are in the last few years in London. Um, okay. And um, as far as differences, I don't think there's too many different. People believe there's many differences between the different countries. They okay. think uh, the attitudes are different uh, when you, whether you go to Austria or France or uh, Britain or whatever. Yeah. And it's not true. It not is sure. not true. Because you know, there's it's, that, it's that, a worldwide thing. It works along the same lines. Because everyone thinks that Italians are more sexy or French no, are more sexy, and no, English are quite no, sexy. No, like no, no, no. The opposite <laughs> is sometimes true. I've had the most boisterous um, shows in London or in other parts of uh, of the UK. That's good to hear. And yeah, it's, so it's are we equally see, sexy? As, the, uh, the thing is, it's a common misunderstanding. It's only us who okay. are all uh, you know uptight about it. Yeah, everyone is the same all <laughs> over the world. So um, and people have the same misconceptions and the same hang-ups and all of that, and they're equally good at it. They don't know. <laughs> they think all the others are always better. They think the French are great. The, good, the, yeah. the best lovers. Not true. There's a study out there. Uh, Thirty percent of the French males, the, yeah. the Latin lovers, been there, done that, don't want to do it again. Not so good anymore. No, let's go for dinner. Instead. So who's on the rise? So, uh, oh, who's on the rise? Who's up and coming the great cycle? <laughs> <laughs> well, as as opposed to what people think, because Actually, yeah. uh, they they think it. I mean, the only thing is, it's such a taboo to talk about it. True. But that's where the fun kicks in in my show because that's all we do for now. And I hear you teach some new tricks and new or new angles and there new. There are no new. Tricks. <laughs> Everybody thinks there's new tricks and there's, there, you can work miracles. No, just do it. And out of twenty goes, one will be great. One will be great. That's uh, all there's to it. Is sex is good exercise, as everyone says. No. No. no, You burn very few calories, <laughs> but it's a, <laughs> but it's a great stress relief. True. You know, it, it, the stress goes away, and also it's recommended by the NHS. Okay. Either by the NHS. Us, yeah, three times a week. Officially. Uh, with officially, either with someone else or by yourself, doesn't matter. Now, do you bring in these sort of facts into your into your yeah, show? Yeah, because well? very it's few people. And yeah, because the people, the, you know, people never ask you about these things. We just can't talk about it. Especially sort of in the in the UK, I find it's there. It's kind of, yeah, right. It's just, it's quite a taboo. To show me sex. any other country where it's okay to talk about sex. You will not sure. find it. The UK is no different from any other place in the world. So, so, yeah. it, see, that's yeah. another thing. That's a good thing to know. We're yeah. not different, you know, because they always think the others and other people are doing it more often, and it's more experimental and more this. No, all in the same boat. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, your show is on at the Pleasant Theatre, Pleasant Courtyard. Pleasant Courtyard, yeah. Fantastic. And it's 7 p.m. every yeah. yeah. show. So after the show, you still have time to, you know, to chat and meet. Oh, and meet. Chat and meet. Go over and do your thing. And then take someone home. Do you encourage that with audience participation? Uh, <laughs> you know what people are called who never have sex. For your version. Singles. <laughs> Singles, by definition, don't have sex. You need a partner. So, hook up with someone. And what do you think, Rupert? What do you think about these sort of dating dating websites? Because that's quite a fact. Do you reckon? Do you reckon? Is that, is that fact? Uh, it's, it's fact. Yeah, a, a lot of them don't work because yeah. people expect miracles and there are no miracles. Well, what I recommend is go to the same place all the time because that's where you're going to meet frequency. To be there, make yourself known in you know a certain pub or whatever it is. Be there all the time, a club, 
you know, invest in your time. Yeah. You yeah. know, make sure that takes some time. It takes time. <laughs> I can imagine. Like, everything. Well, thank you very much for the Thanks for us. And um, we look forward to seeing you at 7 p.m. at Pleasant's Courtyard from the 3rd of August to the 25th of August. Thank you. This is Waffle TV and I'm Ross Jenkins.